Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another video. Since the last upload, things have just been crazy. It's been manic, been so busy with the car, enjoying time with it and also sharing some very special moments with some special people and also my followers. Because this is such a big moment for me. Um, it's very important that I share my happiness with other people. I don't, you know, there's a lot of people that wish that they were in the position that I'm in, owning the fastest car in the world, owning a Bugatti Chiron. And uh, the last thing I want to do is tuck it away, park it up, put the shutters down and not drive it. This one's for the community, this one's for the car lovers, and this one's for you guys out there that have supported me all the way through. Behind me, we have my... <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this. My Bugatti Chiron. <laughs> So in today's video, we are going to be having a look around my Bugatti Chiron. I'm going to talk you through the specs and things that I selected when visiting the factory um, in Molsheim, France. Uh, we sat there, my family and I, we configured the car together. And there's inspiration uh, from my father in this and obviously with our company colors. Now, uh, let's uh, show you around the car. The car is finished in uh, Nocturne, which is... Um, a deep dark black there's no metallic in it it's a flat black and when finished and detailed it looks like you can literally put your hands through it it's it's a very deep gloss dark finish um, and that's the color that we selected and uh, i'm very very happy with that um, another thing we chose was to have the grill and the fins uh, in the aluminium polished finish some people like that in the colored finish we wanted to keep the classy contrast of blacks polished aluminiums chrome, silvers, diamond cuts, along with the Italian red interior, which I will come on to shortly. The wheels, what can I say, that the diamond cut wheels, they are absolutely stunning, complemented with the red brake calipers to just bring out that interior a little bit more. My favorite feature though, uh, I think you've probably seen this earlier, but is when I open the car, how the headlights turn on and off, carbon fiber inside the headlights, now, there is an option that you can have the car in a carbon finish. I didn't go for that. Um, I saw a car with carbon fiber, and I felt like the, the weave in the carbon fiber made the car look a little bit gray, and I wanted the, the deepest, the wettest kind of black. It, I kind of took inspiration from a Bugatti of the past. I think it was the Atlantic or something like that. But um, no, I saw a picture. I don't know too much about the Bugattis. I only really joined uh, and, and, and took interest in the brand when the Veyron came about, which was obviously the fastest car in the world at the time. Uh, so yes, again, there's lots of carbon fiber on it, but that's uh, standard. Um, and it gets interesting as we come around towards the back. This is where it gets really, really interesting. And that is because, yes, it has my father's name on it. The number plate S41, my name is Aleem, my number plate is 41 EEM, and my father's name is Salim, and his registration is S41. And why we like these number plates is because uh, it has the S, the 41, and then my number plate is 41 EEM. My father's and my name is very similar, it's just that he has S at the start of it. So if you haven't already caught on with that, there's something you learn new every day. Uh, it's like they couldn't be bothered to name me, but uh, yes, alhamdulillah, I have a beautiful name. Um, Right, the engine bay. So we went for a theme of a beating heart. So with the, with the guts, with the blood interior, we wanted to go with the engine bay that was really highlighted. Now the W16 engine is a very special engine, a very, very, very special engine. And when I make a video of taking you guys out for a first drive, you will understand why when you hear it, the, the whistles, the way it performs. Um, a lot of my friends, including Salman behind the camera, Salman, you went out in the car earlier, was it amazing? <laughs> of course. Right, so the red engine bay. So it's finished in like a, a matte satin red, which I think is brilliant with the gloss black on the body. Uh, it really focuses all the attention. There's lots of carbon fiber as well in the engine bay. Um, it being in red, again, I feel like it's like a beating heart within this beast. Um, it's like Dark Vader. I love this brake light. This is the longest LED brake light made out of a, a one-piece aluminium billet. It's just engineering at its finest. Oh, not forgetting, of course, how can I forget? The red underneath the spoiler, giving it that Christian Louboutin red bottom feel. And underneath here, inshallah, I'm gonna be putting my platinum logo, so whenever I brake, 
well, when the wing comes up, you'll see the Platinum logo, so you know what time it is. <laughs> um, the car, what can I say about it? Let's head on inside, and this is where, for me, as stunning as the outside is, the interior is a beautiful place to be. Finally, take this off. I see you guys asking a lot of questions. What's this flashing blue thing? What's this bag that he's got on? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to make some videos out here for you guys. <laughs> anyway, come take a seat inside. Well, welcome to the interior of my Bugatti Chiron. And this is my new favorite place to be and spend time and sleep sometimes as well. There's never been a car that's made me speechless, but this car has certainly made me speechless. I've seen renders, I've seen computer graphics of this interior. I've never seen a Chiron with this kind of color combination. So when this one came to life and it was finally delivered and I saw the Italian red leather complemented with the carbon fiber dashboard and door panels, again, that is an extra. Otherwise, it would have been in red Italian leather and already got a reflection on the, on the uh, windscreen. But I'm just so glad that I didn't split it with uh, some black in the seat and I just went for the full blood because it really, really, really makes it feel that extra special. I'm lost for words. This steering wheel is from when I test drove a Chiron Sport in Molsheim at the factory. And I felt the, uh, the Chiron Sport steering wheel, but I didn't like the Chiron Sport exhausts. So I asked very kindly if I can have one of the last Chirons ever made with the Chiron Sport suede steering wheel. So. This is a suede that you have never, ever felt before. It's so, so special. <sighs> what more can I tell you? There's switches and buttons that redefines what quality is all about in, an, in a vehicle, in a car. This is not even a car. This feels like a, a jet taking off. But more on that when we go for a first drive. The sea light inside the Bugatti Chiron is one of my favorite features. It doesn't stay on whilst you're driving. It does, however, when you pull up to the lights and somebody asks you, what's the retail on one of those? You do just switch on the light and say, have a guess. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about how much this car costs because it's worth every penny. What it makes a petrol head feel, the service, everything about it, the way, there's no words. I'm never normally a speechless guy, but I'm speechless when I'm inside this car. It whistles, it bursts with, and when I look out at this rear view mirror, oh, and I see those W16 engine, the head, heads of them just poking out in Italian red. Just have to pinch myself. Oh, I am so grateful, alhamdulillah, I have. If you ever do get the chance in having a go in this car, or having a little ride with me, just remember this video, remember this moment when I tell you this is the greatest car you will ever, ever, ever experience. The greatest road car that you can sit inside of it in a suit, in some track suits, in whatever mood you feel. And you can drive around the city at 30 miles per hour or you can just be hitting 250 miles per hour on the autobahn. And it's so effortless. As you can see inside the car, there's no screens, there's no... Nothing really much going on. When the passenger's there, you ask him, are you bored? Are you sure you don't? They're speechless. They're frozen. And that's what this car does. It freezes time. But you actually have a great saying. They say, if a car can be compared, if the car can be compared, it's no longer a Bugatti. And there isn't a vehicle, there isn't a car in this world that can be compared to a Bugatti. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe, share and like for more. And I'll see you soon for more drives, more videos with the Chiron and lots more of my toys. I cannot forget about my other toys, of course. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.